sounds of 18 wheels humming down the highway. Fresh air. We're just missing the birds chirping. Where are the birds? Oh yeah, it's fall time, it's getting cold. They're all gone. That's sad. Winter's gone, oh wait, there they are. They're just not singing. You guys not having a good day or what? Start singing, you're supposed to be singing, it's morning time. The best part of waking up in the country. I guess in the city too, you notice it a little bit, but uh, it's the birds singing in the morning. I don't know if I like it. Diesel, don't eat that. Come on, this garbage. Disgusting. <laughs> I know, like, look at all this. How does all this garbage get here? How does that happen? There are garbage cans right over there. People, good morning, everybody. It's going to be a good day. You want to know why? We're going home today. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what, uh, what the house looks like now that it's more settled in and stuff. And I'm excited to continue the process. There's a lot of uh, moving around I got to do yet. Uh, she's she's organized everything for me. Now I've sort of got to take everything to storage and uh, we've got to get our camper out of our driveway and bring it to our land and uh, go to the land. I, I can bring, there, uh, bring you there tomorrow, show you around there and uh, explain to you what we're going to do with it. Yeah. We'll be home for a couple of days. I'm excited. First, we have to deliver this load, though. Are you ready to go home? We're gonna go deliver this freight, and then we're gonna go home. You excited? I'm excited. Yeah. Who wouldn't be excited? All right, you gotta get in the truck, though. There you go, old man. So I'm at the Manitoba, Ontario border at the rest area on the Ontario side. So I've got about an hour and a half to Winnipeg, and they're supposed to live unload me today. It's got two levels on it again, so it's probably going to take them a little while. So we're going to go sit in the dock there, wait for them to unload me. As soon as I'm unloaded, I'm going to rush back to the yard, our own yard, clean up the trailer, make it ready for the next person, get all my stuff into the pickup, give this truck a good little clean out so that the, the, the shop can get into a clean truck because they're going to service it and do some maintenance on it while I'm gone or while I'm at home. And then we're going to take ourselves home. home diesel i know you're excited i know you're excited you can hardly contain your excitement
here, Diesel. So we're in the dock. I'm just gonna quickly go ask them if they want me on the dock helping them or if they want me to stay in my truck. Every place is different. Most places nowadays actually they want me just to stay in my truck, which I'm perfectly fine with. I got lots of games to play. Some places they still don't care and they want you on the dock helping them, so. Better to ask than to just assume. Never assume. They don't want us on the dock. Definitely don't want us on the dock. They didn't even seem happy that I asked, but hey. Just wanted to know if they needed some help. Trucker Josh was willing to help. He was willing to work. You don't want Trucker Josh's help? I'm okay not working. I'm gonna go back here and relax. Uh, play some games on my phone. Maybe even pull out the computer. Play some Civilization? I don't know. Diesel, what do you want to do? Want to play some tic-tac-toe or something? I know, I always win, and you get mad. It's no fun playing with people who get mad when they lose. We call them sore losers. <laughs> it's a good boy. Are you ready to go home? You ready to go home? Our new house. Our new home. Mom is waiting for us, and Chevy, and Frankie, and Wiener. You excited? And Grandma's coming down this weekend, I heard. Britt's mom is coming to spend the weekend at our house. You know what that means. She gives lots of treats, doesn't she? She does. You can get a little bigger, aren't you? Grandma's gonna give you all kinds of treats. Yeah, look at this tail going over here. Grandma? She means treats, man. Lots of treats. She spoils you guys, I know. So we have a lot of plans for while I'm at home. Uh, I'm scheduled to be at home until Thursday now, I believe, or Friday. Kind of hoping it's going to be Friday because I need an extra day to get a few things done. On Thursday, we're getting a uh, the utilities to come out and mark where the underground lines and gas lines and hydro and everything is so that uh, we can start building our fence around our yard. I haven't even shown you the yard yet. That's how little time we spent at our new house. I had to go right to work right away. So those are coming on Thursday. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that needs to go into storage, uh, stored away at the house. I've got to take that to storage. I'm storing a couple of things at my dad's shop. Got to do that. We've got to take our camper, which is in our driveway right now. Got to get it out of there because there's no room for it and bring it to our, our land outside of town. Set it up there and, you know, set up security systems and stuff. Make sure that everything's okay there. And uh, show you guys around the land. Got to take some garbage away still, do a few garbage runs, get settled in. And I want to just relax and sit and do nothing for at least a couple of hours. I just, I just want to sit there and I want to watch my TV or my YouTube and just sit. We'll see if we have time for that. There's not always time for sitting. There's always work to be done. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll, take you, I'll take you guys with me. As soon as we're unloaded here, we'll start heading towards the house. I think Britt's mom is getting to our house today. I'm supposed to let them know when I'm going to be home. Once I know, I don't know yet. So that uh, I can let her into the house. I don't think she's got keys to our house. We usually let our family have keys to the house, but we just moved there. We just got keys to the house. So we got to make a few copies. We changed all the locks and doorknobs. Uh, when you do buy a new house, it's a good thing to do. Uh, as soon as you move in, as soon as you take possession, change the doorknobs, change the locks. Because, you know, the previous owners, they're usually honest people and they give up all their keys. Uh, but you, you just don't know. You don't really want other people having keys to your house. Just change the locks. So that's what we did. So we still got to make keys of the new locks. and You get it. I'm excited to go home. All right. Let's go see what uh, kind of mess they left for me in there. I have a feeling that, because uh, they used two floors... I have a feeling they didn't clean it up at all, that I'm gonna have to clean it up, which I guess is to be expected, but let's go see how bad it is. Ready for this? Ready for this? Oh, oh, it's not even that bad. 
They even organized them all on the side here for me. I just gotta bring them all to the front. And there you go, ready for the next driver. First, we had a gang of skunks out in Ontario. In Manitoba, we got a problem with gangs too. The gangs of goose, geese, gooses. Hey, what's going on guys? They'll attack you. Tons of them. Winter's coming, bud. Why aren't you going south already? I'd be in Mexico already, man. Look at these guys. Look at these guys think they're all tough. Walking around in an old gang. Some over there on the right too, man. They're everywhere. buddy last step we're in the pickup now took a little bit of it takes a little while to get loaded up into the truck and into the pickup here from the semi truck and he gets so impatient when he knows we're going home I wonder if he even knows like that we're going to the new house do you remember the new house diesel we only spent two nights there and we had to go we're we going home do you know where home is now home is where mom is Chevy. So who's, 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 we're home. Hey guys! Oh, I'm home. Are you excited to see me? What is this? Let's get this out of here. Let's get this out of here. Hey guys. Hey, hey it's me. Watch your little brother. Watch your little brother. Hey guys, Chevy. Chevy, watch the little guys. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> guys. I'm back. I'm back. Hey, Weaver. Do you guys like the little house? <laughs> it's always nice getting a warm welcome when you come home. <laughs> hey, guys. So let's see what Brett's done in here. Wow. This is home in here now. Guys, no fighting. Come on. Chevy, show me around. Show me around. This place looks so nice now. Look at this. Wow. Chevy, did you help? Did you help? 
Looking great. Oh, and I got, there's a note on the stove for me. That's nice. That just made my day. That's nice. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I missed you too, man. I missed you too. Oh, guys, 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 don't fight over me. There's plenty of me to go around. Plenty of me to go around. Oh, Chevy, you big bully. You big, okay, you want a hug? Oh, why didn't you just say so? Give, oh, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Come on. Oh, okay. I'm not supposed to. Mom says I'm not supposed to jump. <laughs> I missed you too, guys. I missed you too. Now, can I say hi to the little guys? Chevy, go. Go. Chevy, calm down. I want to say hi to the little guys. <laughs> Chevy. <laughs> Can't control himself. Oh, it's nice to see you. Nice to see you. All right, let's see the rest of the house. There it is. <laughs> so we need to buy a new bed frame yet, but uh, this is all. Wow, Chevy. Wow, look at this. Look at this. And our spare bed. Remember all those boxes that were in here? Remember that? Look at it now. It's my first time seeing this. Wow. So there's still some work to do, like I said, but wow, look at this place. They did a phenomenal job. Wow. Hashtag impressed, Chevy. Hey guys. Okay, I'm gonna get all my stuff in here. Britt's mom is gonna be here in about 45 minutes and I wanna settle in and have a shower before she gets here. Britt is at work right now. She'll be home later on this evening. I think, I think that's it. Okay, lots to do. Talk to you later. So our camper is right here beside our house in the driveway. We're gonna be taking this to our land tomorrow because it's taking up too much space here. But for tonight, this is our very first bonfire. I know you can't really see anything, but this is a special night. This is our first bonfire at our new place. It's been a good day and it's good to be home again. Tomorrow's gonna be a busy day, a lot to get done. Hope you guys tune in though. It should be a lot of fun. I'll see you then, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow.